everyone, every combatant out there, every soldier out there, every team out there will need, at some case, a piece of equipment recovered due to fail of maintenance or due to, or due to the luck of the enemy being able to engage our equipment. It is that need which is being taught to soldiers at Fort Lee's new recovery training course, Downer Range. The facility trains soldiers on how to recover large pieces of combat equipment that, if left on the side of the road, could be used for other purposes. You don't want to leave because the enemy can probably recuperate it and use it against us. Nearly 500 soldiers go through the course every year, learning tactics and techniques to go out and get damaged or broken down combat equipment. To not only ensure it doesn't end up in enemy hands, but to also save taxpayers money. The taxpayers pay a lot of money for that piece of equipment. And we do not want to leave equipment out there that we can recover and be put back into the fight and just to leave it out there. That's, that's a waste of taxpayer money. Before the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built down a range, soldiers were taught at two locations, Aberdeen Pooping Grounds in Maryland and Fort Knox in Kentucky. The courses were combined and moved here as a result of the BRAC 2005 decision. We are able to replicate exactly the same amount of training and tasks here at Fort Lee as we did in Aberdeen and at Fort Knox. This is a great facility, state of the art. The range is a lot bigger than we had at Aberdeen. Uh, it's over, over 200 acres here, so we have a lot more flexibility on the pits that we can dig and the driving experience that we can give these soldiers. Flexibility to give realistic and complex recovery training to new soldiers that will be called upon to get vehicles in some of the toughest terrain in the world. Skills that we teach here are critical in that our soldiers can go out there, recover a vehicle, bring it back to the rear to where it can be repaired, and then be put back into the fight. From Fort Lee, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.